I am currently on one of my road trips and uh, I want to measure the capacity loss in the battery pack. You can see here 188,000 kilometers. Uh, if you guys don't know the history behind this car, the Millennium Falcon, at 86,000 kilometers about a year ago, I had uh, the battery in place. There was a problem with um, uh, not the I mean the battery pack was fine. There was just one small component which was uh, power switch that was failing. And I mean Tesla could have repaired the power switch and then it would be fine. But uh, they just gave me a new battery pack, so I don't complain. Anyway, it means now the battery has done 100,000 kilometers or about 60,000 miles. So I want to measure how much energy it can hold because as Everything the battery pack will always uh, degrade over time So a new battery pack should be able to uh, give about 75 to 76 kilowatt hours, but that depends on how far you drive so um, I mean it's um It's like okay if you drive far meaning you drive slow, then you get more energy out of the battery pack. If you drive fast, then you get less energy and you will have more waste in the form of heat. So basically, if you drive, let's say 450 to 500 kilometers in one charge, on a fresh battery pack, you might get like 76 kilowatt hours out of it. If you drive faster, let's say about 300-ish kilometers, you might only get like 70, 172 kilowatt hours so um i don't have a reference like an ex exact reference of how much it should be based on this trip but um yeah okay okay this uh, gps is all over the place but i'm gonna go this route up there and then via Voss. so that route is 330 kilometers and uh, so it means the the energy consumption is a bit intense 330 kilometers about 200 miles so I don't expect to get 76 kilowatt hours from a fresh battery pack maybe only 75 maybe even 74 actually yeah on a fresh one I mean you guys could try to do the same thing with if you have a fresh battery pack should be 74 okay and why is that important well, because you can't really look at this number. This is just an estimation. So what I'm gonna do is charge it full until it completes. And then I will drive almost nonstop. And um, I will measure the amount of energy I can consume. And um, then based on how much I can spend from, from full to zero, but I'm not going to use the, the zero mile protection. There's a like a, an extra buffer in the bottom here that I don't want to use because I want to measure the you know, 100 to zero percent. So that means I have to drive from, from full to charge now and stop. Or I might end up like 10, 20 kilometers and then I will uh, estimate how much energy, how many kilowatt hours that should be. So that's going to be interesting. I'm dying to know how much uh, degradation this battery pack has over uh, like one year now. So um, I'm just going to sit here and wait for the finish and then off we go. Alright, finally the charging is complete. It took a whooping two hours or something. But we're going to get up going now. 378. Oh yeah. So you see, this is why you don't want to look at the, the range estimation because uh, it was 378 when we started and if you look at the trip meter, I have spent 1 kilowatt hour and that's 5 kilometers of range. So I already spent 5 and um, you see it's still at 378, it should have been 373 or something so that means it was actually more before we started. So we're gonna see now how long I have to drive until uh, the range actually drops. 
so you see um okay uh it was 1.8 kilowatt hours spent before i started recording so um 1.8 kilowatt hours that's almost 10 kilometers so i could drive for 10 kilometers before uh, <laughs> the range started dropping so you see that's why you can't count on the the actual range that it displays it's just an estimation like i said before Finally, I am at Thomas' house. I was also here in this summer, so you might recognize his house. But anyway, the stats. So you see here, trip A, 335 kilometers, 65 kilowatt hours, 61.7. And um, if you look here, the remaining range. So um, if you take that, um, I don't remember how many kilowatt hours, but I did the math. This one remaining plus that one is uh, 71 kilowatt hours. 71 and uh, this distance should be around 74. Well, I might be wrong. Yeah, but let's assume 74 kilowatt hours on the fresh battery. That means 4% degradation. 4% in one year and 100,000 kilometers that's not too bad so um, I mean maybe we get 8% after two years 200,000 or well we don't know because uh, it's also dependent on uh, aging and all that and so. but all right, all right anyway I'm gonna get some uh, food and sleep now so Good night.